What is up, wonderful world of YouTube? My name is Chris. You're tuned into Motivated Living. Got something cool for you today. It was something cool that came from me today, but I'm going to share my experience with y'all. I got three items came in the mail from two different places. Uh, I already did the unboxing and sprayed and played and all that other stuff with them, but I'm going to share with you. And one's a classic throwback y'all should be familiar with, but uh, I guess you're just going to have to hang tight for a second and check it out. Welcome to Motivated Living. Change is on the horizon. Thank you for coming and joining me, whether if you're already a subscriber or if you're not. If you're not, go ahead and hit your subscribe button so you can come on back, man. Uh, ring your notification bell, give me a thumbs up, support a new YouTuber who's just trying to uh, entertain the masses. But let me jump right off into this. This is a classic, a throwback. I don't know if anybody y'all know, this is a big box, man. All white bricks. <laughs> this is a big one. But uh, i seen the price. Of course, you know, I shout out LaBellPerfumes.com fairly often. And i seen the price and I had to jump on it. Uh, this one goes back to 1996. Yeah, that's right. The OG. Aqua de Gio. This used to be my signature set. Used to be. And uh, I this was the only one I don't own currently of the entire line. You know, from the Profumo to the Absolute, the Absolute Instinct. Um, and I like them a lot. And I remember thinking back how much I liked this one. And uh, back then I was in sales. And uh, I was really good. Like, I was good at what I did. And I don't know if it helped because I... I'm good at talking to people and listening, or it was how good I smelled. But there were two things I wore at the time. Uh, this is 6.7 ounce. Uh, but it was either this guy, or it was one from Victoria's Secrets called Very Sexy For Him 2. Um, this was early 2003, so I guess I got out on board with that one a little late. But I rocked it, and I rocked the mess out of it. And by then, not everybody was wearing it. Now, now, I know they make all kinds of ones that smell like them. But yeah, that's, that's that big boy. I don't have to worry about running out of this for, I don't know, depends how heavy I go on it. Um, it's got a sticker on the bottom. Kind of plain, frosted bottle, a little bit. Um, cap's good on it. Woo, see? See, now, uh, I was just watching someone else. And he was telling how, how good one of the caps were. And he said, I don't ever recommend picking up any of the bottles by the cap on any fragrance. And uh, that's Mr. Cheap Sets. I'm sure you all know who he is. If not, check him out. I'll put a picture of him up here, up there, somewhere up here. And I'll try to drop a link where you can get to his channel. Good stuff. But, um, well, cap popped right off. So <laughs> I guess don't, uh, don't pick this one up. Man. But it is a bigger bottle. Maybe if it was a smaller bottle, you'd be fine. But uh, I have been wearing this today on one side. You know, usually when I get a bunch of things in, I, I, I move around. I've showered and went with the winner of the day, which I picked. But uh, it feels like, to me personally, it's been maybe reformulated and toned down. Because I remember it projecting a lot louder, lasting a lot longer than what this guy is. But I mean, it, it smelled good, but I only got a couple hours or so today before I was like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit myself up one more time. Um, so this isn't a full review. I'm just showing what came in the mail and I'm going to give you my little opinions and feedback. And, uh, you know, again, I always say, uh, my disclosure, I'm not an expert on these. I don't claim to be, I know what I like. I know I like to smell good. I love fragrance. Um, my bank account definitely will show you purchase, purchase, purchase. <laughs> uh, I, I'm into it, man. They make me feel good. And each one serves a purpose. And if it doesn't serve a purpose or fit, it, it can go on to someone else who can show it some love and get some life out of it. So I, I did write a couple little notes out of it, but um, it's uh, fresh aquatic. That's what I put down myself. Um, it was originally released for women first in 95, and then this guy came out in 96. And for 95, you know, I have the perfumer is Alberto Morales, uh, but there was a different name for 96. I'm not going to say it because as far as I remember, Alberto did this one too. So... If anybody knows knows any different, go ahead and drop that in the comment. You know, school me and, you know, so everybody else can read it and see too. But uh, top notes are said to be bergamot, mandarin, uh, calone, neroli, uh, mid notes or heart, jasmine, nasturtium, rosemary, and heroin. And yes, if you're wondering, I'm peeking off to the side. I got a dry erase board behind me for cliff notes, so... 
Hey, man, I'm full disclosure. You know, like I said, I'm just a guy talking about fragrance to you. Uh, cedarwood, patchouli, cystus, labdomum, and white musk are what's said to be in the base notes. Do I regret buying it again? No, I like it. And it, it puts me back in that mindset back then. And, uh, you know, baby hasn't really got to experience it. And off the record, this was one of them draw droppers. Draws. I said them draws. Back in the day, this was one of them ones that was really magnetic, man. And, uh garnered me a lot of compliments and uh, a, a mini following fan club, so to speak. But I'm going to leave that alone. So we're going to move on um, to the next scent. Now, these came, and for y'all who watch my videos, I shout out TLTG Reviews Fragrance Lounge all the time for Facebook. You know, that's the place to be. That's just where I'm at. And the other, you know, fragrance groups I'm involved with, you know, uh, mad props to y'all too, you know. But the, this is the main one, though, that I'm usually with and where I get the most love out of. And... Just feel the most camaraderie. <clears throat> and speaking of, that's where these came from. Uh, a guy named Mike Selbo. So, hope you don't mind me shouting your name out there. But anybody in the lounge, you ever see him posting anything? He's the real deal. He's good business. And uh, one of the many that are in that group. So, we had did a little fragrance swap. A couple things I had on the channel uh, here recently. Um, they're great fragrances. They just didn't give me that feeling I like in a fragrance, that vibe for me, even no matter how good they are. If I don't dig it, I don't dig it, and they got to go. So, <laughs> um, I already popped the bottle out as Boss. It's the Private Accord. This is my first Boss fragrance scent a long time ago, a long time ago, back when it had like the little like rubber-looking top thing to it. But um, Boss, the scent, Private Accord. It's a 3.3. It's an Eau de Toilette. And uh, I'll say right out the gate, because I sprayed this one on first, because I popped the cap when I got it. Now, I'll pick it up. Here, let me backtrack, too, on this guy. Give you a little burst, let you see how the atomizer is on the Geo. All right, moving back forward. Uh, yeah, pretty good cap. Bottle's really neat. I've been looking at these a while. And uh, Ross, you're watching. How you doing, Ross? Mr. TLTG. He loves Boss fragrances. And, you know, I see him talk about them often. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get a hold of some. And I had the opportunity to, and man, am I ever glad I did. Um, out of the three, uh, I'll just say it now, this was my favorite out of all three of them that, that I got today. There's just something about it. Um, and it gives me that gourmand smell that you want to just chew on the bottle. Uh, flip it upside down. I haven't figured out what this is. It almost looks like a screw that was painted over. There's like one dot that has a shiny little round silver spot. So any of you boss experts out there, uh, Ross, you're watching, you know what that is. Do me a favor. Tell me what, what's going on with that. Let me see if you can see that. I've been scratching my head at that all day. Like, man, what is that? But a uh, neat little bottle. I like it. Um, as a matter of fact, because I took a shower after I, I had some on one, you know, one here, one there. I took a shower and I went back with the, you know, uh, Good atomizer. I'll pop one into the air. My garage is going to smell like a dance club here. <laughs> mm. It is. It's really good. Like, I like it a lot, man. Like, a lot. This is going to get worn quite often. And it's not loud. It's not offensive. Uh, it's kind of sweet coming off. Um, it just sounds like you chew on your arm. And I have a few like that. So, I, I guess I'm, I'm going more so growing from I like freshies and I like the gourmands. And, uh... Maybe there's a couple other types I like, but um, I'll read what I got. Now, it said this is a woody oriental, but uh, I, uh, to me, it smells like a wand, but uh, I don't know. I'll read the notes and see. Now, it says it gets a 4.17 out of 5 from Fragrantica, released in 2018. It's refined, elegant, and masculine. <laughs> uh, I couldn't find the actual note notes listed, so I went right to the Hugo Boss, the site, and this is what I got for it, just so I could share with y'all. And that's why I'm thinking it's it said it's like a gourmand because it has cocoa, magnetic cocoa absolute. And it says it vibrates at the heart. And then it goes exquisite notes of ginger and exotic maninka fruit are combined with sophisticated mocha. And that, when I sprayed it to my wife, I said, "Man, I get a chocolate vibe off this. Like, man, smell like." It's like some dark chocolate, you know, like, and being an eau de toilette, it, la I, 
I forget sometimes the field of vision on my camera, so forgive me, y'all. Um, it lasted. Like, for being an Ode Toilette, for me, this one, like, lasted all day. I could, I kept going where I had it sprayed and to smell it, like, it's still there. It still smells good. I wouldn't say it's a projection monster where, you know, the people two arm lengths away are going to smell you after a few hours. But you're going to smell it on yourself. And I kept smiling and getting enjoyment from it throughout the day. So, I... Definitely recommend it. That's private accord. Let me keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it moving because I'm trying to be speedy. Last but not least, and this one here has had me scratching my head all day trying to do some research and do, you know to bring y'all a few little chats about it. But it's Saint Laurent. Um, it's the Lone El Intense. You know, or, or is it is it El Intense or El Intense? Or, so if y'all know how to say that, let me know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the L Intense. So let me show you the box presentation. I'm kind of hungry, so this might be the video I chew on a box. I don't know. <laughs> uh, got the little barcode. I'm going to keep it moving right along. Bear with me. Looks just like the rest of the line. Any of y'all familiar with it? Yeah, I recently got to experience the loan, you know, the OG for the first time and I like it. I mean, it's it's soft. It, it's kind of like a like a whisper fragrance to me, the regular one. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, it doesn't scream and shout, but it definitely lets you know it's there. And in my opinion, I like it. I like it a lot. This uh, would be probably two out of three, my number two. I like it better than the Loam, and I almost like it as much as I like the Lanuda Loam, but you know, that's one of my favorites. Even though it gets a lot of flack, I can only hope that one day someone will be nice and bless me with a one that's way back when before it got reformulated because I'd love to see what the hype was, you know, how it was before it got reformulated. Now, with this one here, <coughs> I'm looking and looking online and uh, see how it's got the L intense. Let me come a little closer because when you Google it or if you put it in, it, it, this doesn't come up, you know, the, see how it's got that L intense right there. Hopefully y'all can see it. It's, it's probably hard to see on the bottle. But, uh, what it was supposed to be and what comes up is Parfum Intense. And that was a 2013 fragrance. And a lot of times when I was going to sites about it, it would say Parfum Intense and there'd be a picture of this one there. Or vice versa, you know. The, you know, the description of what you're buying would say this one here. But then when you look at the picture, it would say the Parfum Intense. So there's a lot of back and forth, and I was really looking and digging, trying to find something out for you guys to talk about that. Because like, it had me confused, because when I put it in, I'm not finding this anywhere. And I've seen one article where supposedly it came back from 2015, but uh, other places are saying this was released to keep up with, like, the La Nua de Lome El Intense um, 2019. So if anybody knows exact, like Yahoo who have a little more knowledge, please share that as well. Because um, I don't want to misdirect anybody. I'm telling you what I know. Um, let me read read the notes on it for you. It says, uh, top notes is citron or lemon bergamot and spice with resolutely masculine black pepper. So you got that peppery spice in the opening. And it says it starts with a lemon. Um, it feels like a an amped up version of the other one, which it is. You know, this is an Eau de Parfum. Uh, I noticed this one lasted on me way longer, and I could smell it way longer than the OG version, for sure, which is how it should be. Uh, and, you know, mind you, just because it would say intense doesn't mean it's going to be louder. It just means it might be a little more, uh, what's the word, amped up, I guess you could say, but not where it's going to be a beast. That doesn't guarantee it's going to be a beast mode frag just because it says intense or something on there. Now, your mid-notes are the orange blossom, violet leaf, and it says Indian Devena blossoms or Artemisia. Now, for your base notes, I, I like these little bottles. I think they did good with these. But that's my opinion. I, I always got a kick out of them, especially being around tooling and machinery and stuff, you know. It's like, mm. Um, and it makes it easy to, even though you don't spin it off. Essence of cedar, resin, of 
essence of cedar, resin of benzoin, and a suede accord is what's said to be in the base notes. And it's also saying the ambergris. So I'm not detecting that. And even some of the other people that I've, when I was reading, um, but of course they're not specifically saying this one, they're talking about the parfum intense, but they're said to be the same. So who knows uh, that the ambergris really isn't detectable. And I'll go ahead and show you the atomizer on it. And then I'm going to wrap this thing up because I don't want to keep y'all too long. You know, I mean, I'll keep y'all here all day. I can talk to you all day. Boom. Nice little burst. And, uh, man, it smells so good. Like I'm really impressed with all the, the, uh, the St. Laurent ones. I, I wasn't too impressed with the Y, the Eau de Toilette. Um, I was so let down. I never bought the Eau de Parfum version. But now I'm thinking I should probably try it because I've seen a lot of people have better reactions to the Eau de Parfum compared to the Eau de Toilette of the Y, the YSL Y. So that's it on these three. Feel free to comment. Let me know. Hey, you know, I asked you all some questions for some help. If you're able to drop it down, we appreciate it. Even if you say hello, say hi. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, man. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you all again. Uh, motivated living. Change is always on the horizon. You know, look for a better day. Find the good in every day. I don't care if it's smelling good. There's something good in every day. Key is to look at that and don't look at the rain cloud, you know. I just got to keep moving forward, man. Uh, in closing, sorry, I saved it to the end because it really touched me. And hopefully you all are still here to hear this. Uh, another channel by the name of Sam Broom. And see, when people, I notice in the comments, you know, and who's where, who subscribes, and you know, just being a righteous dude or trying to be, I'll go back and, you know, I watch your stuff and I try to interact and comment, let you know I'm here. And, and uh, it just feels like it's the right thing to do, man. You gotta show, I don't take anybody for granted. So, but, so I'm watching this video and he's got good content too now, mind you, but that's what got me, you know, starting to the channel. We were talking on Facebook through, I think the fragrance lounge actually. And uh, it was a Yardley London Sport video he put up and it was like five minutes and 20 seconds in dude like gave me this huge shout out like i couldn't believe it like man my wife sitting there i should i got how to text her from work like baby look what this man just said about our channel you know and uh so i appreciate that you know it's comments like that that just uplift your spirits and uh, i was already having a good night it was my friday night you know last night of work i was getting that overtime money and, uh, and I seen that and I was just like, man, you know, so I don't know what I did to get in your good graces, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody. And I thank y'all, but, uh, y'all keep doing what you're doing. Keep smelling good. Stay fresh and clean. Thanks guys. Y'all have a good day. Hope to see you back soon. Peace. Motivated living. Changes on the horizon.